for the uh, Super Bowl. He's been at every Super Bowl game, all 57, and he's still there in his 90s as a consultant, always showing up, making sure that grass, the turf is exactly as needed. The Lord always shows up for us, too, more than uh, even uh, uh, 57 times, but for millennia, the Lord is here to refresh us, to allow us to grow in, in the Spirit. So we gather here in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Jesus in the Gospel will continue this teaching, the Sermon on the Mount, as, as we hear from Matthew. And so he'll, he'll set out some markers for us. Uh, are we willing to listen and absorb them? You were sent to heal the contrite of all, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christ eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
disciples gathered around him, O God of integrity, Jesus, your son, calls us to forsake anger and to renounce lust. As we come to offer our gift at your altar, make us eager in seeking reconciliation so that we may live the gospel of your kingdom with our every thought filled with respect for one another and our every deed with reverence. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading reminds us that we have been given a, a, a gift of free will, of choice, and of course it can have consequences that lead us towards God or lead us towards self-destructive sin. That's pointed out. In the second reading, Paul continues to reflect on the consequences of the choices we make, especially if we choose to follow the wisdom of God. It's mysterious to sometimes grapple with it, but we entrust ourselves that, that God's Spirit will guide us in that wisdom that brings us whole life. A reading from the book of Sirach. If you choose, you can keep the commandments. They will save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live. He has set before you fire and water, to whichever you choose, stretch, stretch forth your hand. Before man are life and death, good and evil. Whichever he chooses shall be given him. Immense is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and all seen. The eyes of God are on those who fear him. He understands man's every deed. No one does he command to act unjustly. To no one does he give license to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we speak a wisdom to those who are mature, not a wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. Rather, we speak of God's wisdom, mysterious, hidden, which God predetermined before the ages of our glory, and which none of the rulers of this age knew. For if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him, this God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. already committed adultery with her in his heart. 
If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, Whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, not by earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning, our uh, scripture reflection is uh, given to us by uh, Cardinal Supic. So we'll uh, listen to his message. Go from there. Good day. This weekend, as Jesus continues his Sermon on the Mount, he opens our eyes to how God is present to us through his Son who walks with us. In all of our joys and sorrows, our challenges and opportunities. Jesus tells us that when we fully trust in him and place our lives in his hands, we find the grace and strength to leave behind anger and embrace peace, to leave behind adulterous and unfaithful mindsets and embrace faithful love, to leave behind our hesitations and deceptions and embrace simple and direct truth. In the depths of our hearts, each of us truly desires the peace, fidelity, and truth Jesus offers us, for we know how much we need these gifts. We suffer from the divisions in society, in our families, and yes, even in the church. We feel vulnerable in the aftermath of the pandemic and our personal and family illnesses. We have fears about our financial insecurity and the safety of our families. And we are troubled by the threats which wars and conflicts bring to world stability. So walking on the road with Jesus is urgent and necessary for us. But as soon as we do so, we recognize as true the words of Sirach today. If you trust in God, you too shall live. And we come to know that this new life in Christ is a grace this world cannot give. For eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, what God has prepared for those who love him. This truth Jesus proclaims in the Sermon on the Mount has inspired us to choose as this year's theme for the annual Catholic Appeal, Walking on the Road with Jesus. I invite you to see this year's appeal as an opportunity to reclaim our identity, a sense of ourselves as God's pilgrim people who are on the way, on the road with Jesus. And as we walk together, we are changed. For by being on the road with each other, Jesus lifts us up from a narrow individualism and links us to each other. Being on the road also means none of us has arrived but that we are staying with each other to make sure no one is left behind 
and we all keep going. Our participation in the annual Catholic Appeal is an expression of who we are as a people walking on the road with Jesus. And our support of the appeal is more important than ever. Together, we join hands to help struggling parish communities, schools, religious education, and ministry formation programs in the Archdiocese. We also take by the hand those who are weak in the world through our initiatives for justice, peace, and respect for human life, as well as through Catholic Relief Services, which allows us to be present to people suffering from illnesses, natural disasters, and war. Walking on the road with Jesus, that is who we are. As your financial circumstances permit, please join me and other Catholics in making a gift to the annual Catholic Appeal. I promise that the Archdiocese will be respectful of your sacrificial offering and be a good steward of your gifts. And once your parish meets its goal, proceeds return to your parish to support its mission in your local community. Now, I invite you to turn your attention to your pastor, who will walk you through the instructions for making a pledge and a contribution to the appeal. May the good Lord bless you and keep you and all your loved ones in his providential care. Thank you. So as uh, Cardinal Supic just mentioned, this is the, this week, and we'll have the opportunity next week as well to uh, make a, a gift to the annual Catholic Appeal, which uh, supports so many other ministries outside of our parish. So uh, this opportunity has gone on now for a few years, and so thanks to all those in the past who have been able to uh, make a contribution to the uh, annual Catholic appeal. As you came into church today, uh, each individual or each family had been given one of these uh, envelopes, so we'll walk through this for a moment here to fill it out, uh, unless you've already uh, brought one of these uh, direct mail pledge envelopes from your home. Some people have been mailed these, uh, so uh, the rest of us, though, have the opportunity to uh, Fill these out. Inside the envelope there's a uh, pencil, so uh, just take a few moments to walk through, uh, making sure that uh, you can fill this out correctly and give credit to our parish. As Cardinal mentioned, if, when we reach our goal of just over $45,000, anything beyond that comes back completely to the to St. The Padre Pio Parish. So pause and if you open up the envelope, there's a, a place there on the left-hand side to fill out a name, an address, city, and so on, and email. At the bottom of that section, the, to credit the, the gift, uh, make sure you put down that you're from our parish here, St. Patrick Peel Parish. If you are uh, visiting us, uh, welcome. Uh, put down the name of your parish so that proper credit can be given when we, we turn these, uh, these envelopes uh, in. As you look at the uh, gift boxes on the right side of the envelope, you can uh, check the amount that you wish to give. And uh, this can be done over a period of six months or longer if necessary. There's no need to make uh, an initial uh, 
payment today unless you wish. If you're going to use a credit card, you can turn the uh, envelope over and you see the information there for uh, when you want to make the payments on a recurring basis and also credit card information as well. So pause for a moment for those who are filling that out. After you've completed the information, you can don't put the pencil back, but keep that separate, and then you can seal the uh, envelope. And also, uh, don't forget to put your return address on the outside of the envelope. Yeah, that makes sure that proper credit can be given uh, to you. The moment the ushers will come forward now and will collect the envelopes and the uh, and the pencils. If you haven't quite finished it yet, you can keep the envelope for now and you can turn that in at, at the uh, end of mass or in the uh, usual collection that we have. You can also make uh, your uh, gift online at annualcatholicappeal.com. We also have brochures at the back of the uh, church as you leave for more information about what, where does all the resources go for the annual Catholic Appeal. Let's just come forward now and we'll, we'll collect the, uh, the envelopes. Again, again thank you for, for your generosity. I know this, as the Cardinal says, gives us the opportunity to make a difference beyond just the ministries we have in our own parish, other elements of uh, education, of, of assisting um, some of our schools, of Catholic Relief Services receives a portion of this. I would imagine some of their funds will be going to the uh, victims of the earthquake in, uh, in Turkey and Syria. So this, this, this pledge reaches out so far beyond and, uh, allows us to do the work of the Lord beyond what we can do uh, by ourselves. So again, thank you for, for your generosity. So as we stand now, we are reminded of why we gather and why we need to be generous because the Lord has gifted us with grace that we can't hold on to. It's not really God's grace, unless we share. And so we go back now to our belief, and what we profess, that I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was his incarnate of the Virgin Mary, 
and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord, again, we have pledged some of our treasure for our work of the church. Uh, we now share with you, Lord, also now our petitions. For all who shepherd the church, heeding God's will and seeking the power to carry it out, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who strive to observe and teach the decrees of the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who strive to be faithful servants, sharing the good news of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who ardently search for wisdom and truth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in our faith community, especially those unable to join us today at this table of grace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the intentions of this Mass be heard, especially for all the souls in purgatory and all our parishioners. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good Lord, continue to guide us with your loving care and wisdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
lift up your heart. We are we are the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and right right just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an eternal share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. mystery of Welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, Padre Pio, Hilary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The musical sounds you uh, heard today and the instrument uh, uh, come from our new uh, music director, uh, Mr. Mark Meyer. So we we'll welcome him. And uh, so I, we welcome him. Heard his, his, his skills before, so we're, we're very, very pleased to have him here. You can read more about his his uh, background in the, in the bulletin today. Uh, also, again, the annual Catholic appeal. If you didn't have a chance to uh, make a gift uh, today, we will also have an opportunity to uh, fill out the commitment form next week as well. And again, our target goal is just over. $45,000, everything after that comes back to the parish. That's, that's happened the last uh, few years where we have gotten a uh, circle of funds here because of your generosity. In preparation for the uh, season of Lent, which comes in about a week and a half, uh, you can drop off your old palms in the church vestibule this weekend and next weekend. There will be a, a burning of the old palms with our religious education students on this coming Saturday, uh, February 18th at 11 o'clock in the school parking lot, if you uh, wish to be there for that uh, particular uh, ritual. There's still time to uh, join the Lenten pilgrimage to the Shrine of Christ's Passion in St. John, Indiana on Saturday, March 4th. Uh, bus Reservation is necessary. Father Andre will uh, guide the pilgrimage. You can call the parish office or see the bulletin sign up sheet in the church, uh, uh, the bulletin and the sign up sheet in the church vestibule if you would like to join that, uh, that pilgrimage. Finally, these might be questions that you, you reflect upon. Does our parish help you grow spiritually? How good are we at connecting you to others in the parish? What ways do you feel invited to share your talents at St. Padre Pio Parish? Your answers to those questions as part of our Renew My Church uh, effort. We really got to know uh, where we all stand and what our expectations of the parish are. So. Allowing us to do that beginning on Ash Wednesday, which is February 22nd, and going on for just over a month, there's an online survey that will be available, a 10 to 15 minute survey to answer those sort of questions and give us information uh, for our parish council and pastors to uh, really know what directions do we want to go and, and need to go. So, Stuff in the bulletin, there's uh, more information about that survey that will be online. I also imagine that if you don't have access to online uh, uh, communication, we'll be able to come up with a, a written form that can be uh, shared as well. So I hope you're prepared to take a little time, 10, 15 minutes along the way uh, after Ash Wednesday to uh, give a survey of, of how are we doing as a parish. So again, information on that is in the bulletin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And let's be church. Absolutely.